Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you guys doing today? Great. How are you? Freaked out because I know this is on Disney, but I'm still an adult, and you leave me shivering when I see Secrets of Sulphur Springs that you you guys do it so well. Thank you so much. What is it like to be on the set? Because I know what we're receiving as the viewers. I mean, when you're on the set and you've got things coming out of the wall and you get to room 205, does it freak you out as well? I mean, I, I think personally, I'm, I love this, the horror stuff and all the scary <laughs> stuff. So it, I just love seeing it and, and having it happen rather than being freaked out about it. You know, I, I take a lot of interest in it. One of the things that, that, that young adult readers love is exactly what you just said. They love the horror side of it. They like to be scared for a moment. And, 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 and to me, that's what really gets inside their imaginations, and they activate it. So, so I mean, when they deliver it to you as the script, what, what is the beginning process like for the two of you? Um, I know that I immediately drop everything and just start reading the script. Um, we would count the days until we'd get a new script. We would ask for teasers. We'd ask because they wouldn't give them all to us at once. Um, every two week block, we would get a new script. Um, so we'd all get together and we'd say, oh my gosh, did you read this part? Oh my gosh, what do you think it means? Da 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 da. But yeah, it's super exciting. It's like watching the show, except it's a book. <laughs> yeah, same here. We, uh, I, you know, when we got the scripts, I would always go in and read them all and, and just really, because we all wanted to know what happened next, of course. I mean, we, we didn't want to just be left in darkness until it came up. So we always went up to the writer, too, and the executive producer and just begged for spoilers and something that happened in the next, the next um, episode. And, you know, sometimes he would give us a little hint. And then other times he would just tell us a lie and like lead us on. So we never really knew what was real and what wasn't. <laughs> Kylie, one of the things that my wife has brought up about Secrets of Sulphur Springs is the fact that she says they work together, those kids. That is so inspiring to her because there's a lot of kids on this side of the flat screen that aren't working together. But if they see you guys doing it, putting these mysteries together, then that really does change life out here. Glad. Yeah, no. One of my favorite things about the show is definitely the teamwork and the fact that we have so many different kids working together to get to one goal. Um, it was especially fun this season because, you know, before we were kind of separated into units. Um, me and Preston in the first season, the second season, me, Savannah and Preston. Um, and then this season, it's just all the kids and the parents together. And it was a lot of fun. And I think you can tell on screen. <laughs> <laughs> so, Preston, then when, when those scripts do come to you, there's, I know that you guys are going to reach well beyond acting. I, I see you as directors. I see you as writers. I see you being really involved. Because in reality, this is the 100th year of Disney. You guys are now part of that Disney legacy. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, you know, I never really thought about that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> That's kind of cool to think about. Um, but, I, I, you know, I want to I wanna stay acting for as long as I possibly can because it, it's just so much fun to me, you know, creating these stories and being someone else at, at, while you can, you know, for a short period of time. It's just, it's so much fun, and half the time it doesn't really feel like work. It just kind of feels like you're going to this place where a bunch of people are at on a cool set, and, you know, you kind of just, talk to everybody and hang out for a day and you know it's a great experience but i i never really thought about the directing process for me coming you know i do love like coming up with my own stories and trying to do do that side of things so i i could see writing in the future maybe but I, you know that i want to carry this acting thing out for as long as possible well i got to tell you the reason why i bring it up is because i, I you know this is going to show off my age but i was there when kurt russell was the star at disney and so to watch what that man has done every time i talk with somebody with disney i know you guys are headed for greatness <laughs> thank you so much now, Kylie, here's one of the things. There, the suspense that's inside Streets of Sulphur Springs, the suspense is so real. I can read it on your guys' faces. How do you live it when, when basically you know you're playing a role, but yet we feel what you're feeling? I think it kind of requires a lot of focus, especially if we're all together. Um, <laughs> but I think because we're so excited about the scripts and so passionate about the story, it doesn't it doesn't feel too hard because it's easy to kind of flip in and out of your character's shoes when you've been playing them for so long um, and when you're so excited for other people to see it. When you talk about being in New Orleans, I mean, I mean, room 205 to me is a personality of its own. Does this room really exist? I mean, because now you're really freaking me out. I think 
When it comes to Room 205, it reminded me a lot of Room 237, Room 217 from The Shining. Yeah. I got so excited. And like, oh, a new ghost has checked into, into Room 205. Um, it definitely has its own sort of personality. Unfortunately, the Tremont isn't real, so you can't go ghost hunting there. But, you know, <laughs> in the back of your mind, when you get nightmares, it's there. What, what is funny to me, though, is for 205, when, when they were building it, because, you know, in the first two seasons... On set, it was just a door leading to nothing. <laughs> and so, um, so when they finally built Room 205 at near the end of the, um, um, season two, they started building it. They wouldn't let us go in there because, like, they were, they were building it. There was like dangerous things that we could step on and stuff. But just telling us, like, oh, don't go in there. It's dangerous. It's not safe. Kind of gave me the mindset so that when we could go in there, I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't go in there so every time i'm like about to step into that room i'm like i remember oh i i don't know if i'm allowed in here or not <laughs> <laughs> you guys have got to come back to this show anytime in the future because i know the future of this show is going to really spring forward into 10 15 years so please come back anytime <laughs> thank you so much well you be brilliant okay thank you thank you